प्रथम सदगुरु वंदे श्री कृष्ण तदनम गुरु पापात्मना श्री कृष्ण कमला ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायण से स्वयं व्यास नगिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवते अष्टाध्या अंबत्वादी भगवदीते नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुलायक पत्रे नया भारत तैल पूर्ण प्रज्वाल ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय तोत वेत्रकपाल ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्णाय गीता मृहदुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गाव दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत वसुदेवसुत कंस चालो वर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु भीष्मद्रोण तथा जयध तजला गंधार नीलोत्पला शल्यग्रावती कृपेण वहनी कर्णीन वेला तुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोर मकरा दुर्योधना वर्तिनी सोतीना खलु पांडवैरन नदी कैवर्त कहकेशव पाराशर्य वच सरोज ममल गीताकोत्कट नाख्यान केसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधित लोके सज्जन शक्पद ते पीयम मुदा भूया भारत पंकज कलम प्रध्वंसिना श्रेयसे पंगुलंघयते दिव्यपदक्रमोपनिषद ध्यान वस्त तदगते न मनसा पश्यंतरा सुरगना तस्म देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय गीता माता की जय आदरणीय पंडित प्रिय सज्जनों प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव 
worship our Pandaji, Devs devotees of the Supreme Lord, the Divine Souls. First, let me say Radhe, Radhe to everyone, each and everyone. And my pranam, my humblest prostrations to all of you. Again, in the commemoration of Gita Jayanti, Gita Jayanti manane ja raha hai, us avasar par, on that occasion, that most auspicious occasion of Gita Jayanti, the appearance of the Bhagavad Gita, we have in this Gita Sapta, this seven sessions of Gita. This Gita was spoken by Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Arjun in the middle of the Mahabharat war, in that very sacred place of Kurukshetra. These are the words, divine words of Sri Krishna. This is why it's called the Bhagavad Gita. The questions we have, many questions, doubts in our mind, what we're supposed to do in life, how to uplift ourselves, that we don't have to come back in this endless cycle of birth and death. This is teaching of the Gita. So tonight is the fifth night. Before we go into Katha, I'd like to do a few verses of Radha Govind Geet, composed, written by Jagat Guru Dham Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu, page 21. This verses describe the greatness of the name Radha. How great is the name Radha? I told you many times, and just for a reminder, Radha or Radha Rani is not the consort, wife, girlfriend, etc. of Sri Krishna. The Vedas say, Radhika tu Atma tu Radhika Tasya. Atma tu Radhika Tasya. The Radha is the Atma, the soul of Sri Krishna, Atma. And this is why even Sri Krishna worships Radha. They are one and the same. Radhika Krishna Rupam Cha Krishna Radha Swarupaka Sanak Sankita Sanak Kumar Sankita The scripture says Radha Rani is the form of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna is the form of Radha Rani. So this couple of verses, Krishna kahe jo koi govindarade ra kahe vai devu bhakti batade. So Sri Krishna is saying in the scriptures, if someone should say ra with love, devotion, I will give that person bhakti, divine love. Punijab dha kahe, when he says then, afterwards he will say dha to make radha. To paache paache chalu radha naam sunate. I will keep following that person, behind the person. When they say dha, I will keep following them forever. Radhe radhe bol man. Jiva pe radhe naam govind radhe. Kanu pe radhe gunagan sunate. Our tongue, let my tongue always chant the name of radha. Let my ears always hear the glories of Radha. Radhe Radhe Bol Man Govind Radhe 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 Bol Radhe Rani Se Milade O mind, devote the saint, the saint is saying, if you chant Radhe Radhe, keep chanting Radhe Radhe in the mind, then very soon you will become united, you will attain Radha Rani etc. So sing a couple of these verses as we begin to nice katha.
Oh, 
जो आध्यात्मिक जगत में प्रवेश करना चाहते हैं तो एकांत में रहना या एकांत में जाके साधना करना इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू हे गीता इन गीता श्री कृष्ण से इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू प्रैक्टिस स्पिरिचुअलिटी Wants to control the mind. Main thing last time we spoke about the mind and controlling the mind. That if someone is able to control the mind, he could have attained everything. But to do that, how to do it? Now today we are here. How to do it? How to control? Last time we heard what happens if one is able to control the mind. How to do it? So here he is telling that sadhana, that spiritual discipline. So first thing, one has to go. एकाकी अलोन इन ऑर्डर टू कंट्रोल यथ चित्त आत्मा टू कंट्रोल द माइंड दिस माइंड इज वेरी वे बट बहुत चंचल है सो सिक्लूजन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विदिक्त सेवी लघु भावी द स्क्रिप्चर से लैम्प इन विनलेस प्लेस वेद आज अ से फ्लिक इट नॉट Look, our mind can be compa- compared to milk, and the world to water. Dud man, sansar pani. If you take milk and mix it, or you mix water in the milk, or milk in water, you can't. It will be impossible almost to separate the milk from the water. It mixes, becomes one. Now, if you take that milk and you boil it. Cook well. Then let it cool down to a certain temperature. Take some yogurt that you already have, some dahi, and mix it in that milk. Stir it properly. Matho. Then cover it and put it in a place, in some dark place, and leave it for at least two hours. All the milk becomes dahi yogurt. Then you take that yogurt. And you churn it. What's called matho. You get makhan, fresh butter. Take the butter now; it becomes a ball, lump, 
and throw it in the water. Now there's no danger. Now the water challenge the water. Mix in me if you can. There's no challenge. There's, so this when we go in seclusion is to make that mind steady. Or else you will keep mixing with the world and you can't practice any kind of spirituality. So this is to help from keeping that fickle mind from wandering. So we go, he said go alone in a place of seclusion, not in a mountain or in a cave or some forest, in your home itself. Some room that you can be alone. You may have a special room that you do puja, you do sadhana. Anyway, your own bedroom and close it off. You have to be alone. Try to make the mind free from all desires and possessiveness. Don't have in your mind possession that ah, this is mine, that is mine. Try to free the mind. One night we sang, Naye Mera, Naye Tera. That nothing belongs to me, nothing belongs to you, everything belongs to Bhagwan. It's all Bhagwan's property. We are custodians. So free yourself from that. And now engage the mind in meditation. There are many things taught about meditation. Many, many things you hear in the world. Some people say, try to look at some flame and then close the eye and try to visualize. Some say, try to see nothing. Some say, look at all the thoughts. This doesn't help. Meditate on the form of God. Place some picture of Bhagwan in front of you, Radha Krishna. Look at the picture and then close your eyes and try to meditate on Sri Krishna and Radha Rani. It will take time. In the beginning you will find the length of time it takes for looking at that picture. It will be very long. When you close your eyes, it will go away quickly. Don't worry. Close your eye and look again. Close your eye and try and sorry, look again at the mountain and close your eye and try to visualize. If we keep practicing like this, we'll find eventually the length of time it takes for us to look at the murti or picture will get smaller and smaller. And eventually the length of time will take for us to be able to keep that image in our mind will get longer and longer until the point will come. We no longer need any murti or picture. So you want to visualize, so you have to practice. Then, don't let it be a murti or picture, let it come alive. See the eyes blinking, see him smiling, looking at you, etc. Let it come alive. And so this is, we have to find ourselves in this place in order to be able to to focus, we want to bring the mind under control. Tatraev kagram manakritva yata chittendriya kriya upavishyasane yujya dyogamatma vishuddhaye. Now that sadhak, the word yogi refers to the bhakti yogi, the sadhak, one who is practicing sadhana. Spiritual discipline is called a sadhak to do sadhana. The two bhaktis. Bhakta sanjataya bhaktya vibrat pulakan tanu. 11 kanto, third chapter, 31st verse. verse. Prabhupada Maharaj says to Vidyehanimi in Bhagavat Mahapuran, we have to do bhakti to get bhakti. One bhakti we have to do sadhana bhakti. Spiritual discipline. And one bhakti we are going to get. Siddha bhakti. When the heart, the mind has become pure. Then the rasik saint. The true rasik saint who has that divine bhakti. Will give it to us. That's siddha bhakti. So we have to do sadhana. We are sadhak. So that bhakti yogi. That sadhak. He, in order to do bhakti. To do sadhana. There are three rules. Three things. In the Brahma Sutra, Vedan Sutra, it gives three rules for doing sadhana, for doing meditation. What Sri Krishna is talking about here also. 
सो नंबर वन आसीना संभवात सिद्धांत Sitting with the legs crossed like this, like how I'm sitting here. Not lotus, just cross the leg. This is the best position for doing sadhana meditation. If you stand up, you get tired. If you lie down, you get too comfortable, fall asleep, etc. So this is the position. And if you sit on a chair, etc., same thing. You get too comfortable, you fall asleep. This is the position recommended. So with the legs crossed, sit. Us asan par bed kar. Sit on that asan. That day ka gram mana to focus the mind to upper vishasane. That asan. Sitting on the asan. For practicing sadhana and purifying the mind to make the mind pure. The aim is to make this mind pure. Nirmal. Why? Shri Bhagavan Shri Ram says in the Ramayana, Nirmal man jana so mohi pava, mohi kapat chal chidrana bhava. Only those who are pure in heart, pure heart, pure mind, Nirmal man, can know me, see me, attain me. I cannot tolerate deception, deceit, fraud. So, for controlling the mind and making and purifying it, this is why we are doing this sadhana. So we focus the mind by controlling and the senses, etc. So the first rule, sit down. Then, Samekaya shiro grivam dharayan nachalam stira sampreksha nasikagram swam Dishashchanava Lokayan Chapter 6 verse 13, Gita. So you have to be alert. So the second mantra in that Vedan Sutra says Achalatvacha Peksham This word comes here to Sampreksham. We have to be alert. Let's keep the, the back straight of the so here is he's saying, keeping the head, neck and back, your body in one line, straight. Sit like this. Don't slouch when you're doing meditation, when you're doing sadhana. Keep that straight and firm. Here it mentions fixing the gaze on the nose. What it means to focus the mind on God. We have to focus the mind. Don't look here, there and everywhere. That's why you have to be alone. If you're somewhere, somebody's walking, somebody's talking, you'll be looking. Huh? You're thinking, okay, I will sit with my whole family and I'll practice. This one is crying, that one is doing this. You'll be looking. The mind will go everywhere. So to focus the mind. So this is why it says the nose, the tip of the nose, meaning to focus the mind. Out, disha, dishashchan navalokayan. Means do not... Keep moving the head and look at other things. Keeping the head straight. Focus in the mind. We are practicing. This is tapasya. Little tapasya. You have to practice. In the beginning, it's going to be hard. Since we have never done this in any one in any great way, if one has never practiced, then in the beginning it's going to be hard. Everything in the beginning is very difficult. Even in the world. We don't give up in the world. But when it comes to sadhana, when it comes to the spiritual world, we give up very quickly. I can't do it's too hard. Are, if any child were to give up, none of us would walk. You know how hard it is for a child to walk, we've forgotten. Even to turn, karvat. How many months a child lay on the back, could not even turn, then turn, then creep. Even more, very difficult. Then the child decides, I want to walk, everybody's walking. On taking the first step, the child fell down. We hurt ourselves, we cried, but we didn't give up. We keep doing it, keep trying until not, one day not only could we walk, we could run. Everything in the world we have become good in, we have to work very hard. Our family is very weak, we forget. People say, I just sit down in the car one day and I, I, just, I just turn the key and I start driving. Ooh, really? <laughs> 
We forget what, how, what hard it was, how much time somebody had to give us, how much mistake we made. And nowadays you have automatic before we had, you know, manual. You have to clutch, where to clutch, where to put brake, where to put clutch, gas. So, anything we came. So in the same way, to become perfect in, in meditation, in sadhana, we'll have to work hard in the beginning. Make the mind strong. The more we work, the more we'll benefit and the easier it will become. Then one day it will become so easy. Very easy. So we have to work hard. <laughs> and <coughs> so in this way, so keeping the body straight, focus in the mind. So that's, that was the second sutra, the Vedan sutra also. Comes the third. Prashantatma Vigat Vigatabhir Brahmacharite Brahmachari Bhatistita Manasanyamya Machitto Yukta Asita Matpara Chapter 6 verse 14. So the third sutra, Dhyanacha. The, the third Brahma Sutra, Vedan Sutra. Dhyan means meditate. Meditate on Shri Krishna. As I mentioned, meditate on the form of Shri Krishna. Here also Shri Krishna says, now with the mind, because you're alone in a, in a secluded place, you've made a wonderful atmosphere, and the mind very calm, keeping the mind very calm, and being fearless, practicing chastity, Brahmachari means chastity. Not having thoughts of lust, etc. Your mind must be free from all these things. Keep away from that. If you want to do bhakti, if you want to practice sadhana, you have to keep away. Practice in chastity. Then, meditate on Shri Krishna. Meditate, become absorbed in Shri Krishna. Meditate in Him. Yukta asita matpara. Shri Krishna says, meditate on me. On Shri. He said to Arjun, meditate on me. Focus. You see, I told you, we have to meditate on the form of God. And this is what Sri Krishna is saying. He said to Arjun, let your mind become absorbed in me. Meditate on me. Focus your mind on me. In this way, we have to focus the mind. So we'll sing a beautiful bhajan, written by Jagat Guru Tam Sri Kipalu Mahaprabhu again. And this beautiful bhajan describes, tells us how to meditate. It gives us an idea of meditating on Sri Radha Krishna. So, this beautiful bhajan says, I'll just explain the bhajan as, and then we will sing it. Hamare man basse yugal sarkar. So, the devotee is saying, in my heart, in my mind, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, Radha Krishna, Shama Sham is residing. Page 40. Is residing in my heart, in my mind. God is always in our heart. We don't realize that. Bhagavan Krishna says in Gita, Ishwara Sarva Bhuta Nam Hridde Shedruna Tishthati Chapter 18 verse 61 God resides in the heart of all living beings. That same Radha Krishna in Golok is sitting in our heart. So my, that, my beloved Radha Shri Radha Shri Krishna, they are residing in my heart. We have to realize that. How? Gaura Barani Vishabhanu Nandini Neela Baran Rijwar. Radha Rani is Gaura Baran. She is very fair in complexion, golden in complexion. Neela Baran, uh, Gaura Baran. And Shri Krishna, Neela Baran. He is bluish in complexion. So, Radha Rani, very fair, golden in complexion. Shri Krishna, bluish in complexion, like a sapphire. Garbahi dine do thare manju nikunja majhar. And how are they? In my heart, they are standing with arms around each other. Garbahi means arms around each other. With arms around each other. And they are in a beautiful kunj. Manju means beautiful. In that nikunj. They are standing in nikunj. The most beautiful flowery grove with arms around each other. They are standing there. Uttapahere nilambara sohati itta pitambara dhar. On one side, 
Radha Rani is wearing Nilamba. She wears a blue sari. Beautiful blue sari with golden edges, etc. On the other side, Sri Krishna is wearing Pitamba. He wears yellow silk, silken clothes. Utasura Singara Saji Ita Natvara Bhesha Savad. Radha Rani is decorated with 16 types of embellishment. So beautiful. 16 types of embellishment as to beautify oneself. She is known as Bhagwan Sri Krishna. He just looks like in a jokey way, dressed up. He's bent in three places. Everything seems to be bent. But this is Sri Krishna. Uta Singar Madhi Chabi Sohati Itta Madhi Chab Madhi Singar Chabi Madhi Singar. So on the one side, beauty, which is Sri Krishna personified. On the other side, the heart of that beauty. I told you Radha Rani is the heart of Sri Krishna, the very heart of beauty and adornment is starting because Radha Rani is the heart of Sri Krishna. Barbhagi Kripalu Jin Chin Chin Jodi Jugal Nihad. The same Kripalu Mahaprabhu says in the last line that person is most fortunate, most Barbhag, most fortunate. And eternally blessed who is able to visualize and see the divine couple like this all the time with arms around each other. You sing this beautiful bhajan. Basi yugal sarka hamari
in this meditation if we you have to do it constantly not once a week once a month once a year no every day we eat food for the body to keep the body healthy we should body belongs to us but and it's very important we have to keep the body healthy if there's pain, if there's fever, sickness in the body, it becomes very hard to do sadhana, meditation. So it's important to keep the body healthy. So, in the same way, we have to keep the soul, atma, healthy also. By doing meditation, this food for the soul. So every day, constantly, attaching like this. So, yunja neva sadat manam. Constantly practicing. To attach the mind, yunjan nevam, attaching the mind to Sri Krishna, constantly practicing that, that bhakti yogi, whose mind has become disciplined through this practice now, he attains shantim nirvana parama, supreme divine happiness, divine peace. In other words, he attains God. Or mat sansta madhigachati, and ultimately. He goes to the divine abode of Sri Krishna. In other words, after he leaves us here himself, he's going to attain that supreme divine bliss, divine love, while living in the world. And then, having left the world, he will go to the abode of Bhagwan Krishna, Golok, where he will stay forever. Now, so this is the ultimate thing is going to happen. But to go there, we have to practice certain things. For one who wants to enter the spiritual path, you have to be very disciplined. Discipline is very important. Discipline is important in the material world and the spiritual world. If someone is indisciplined in the material world, doesn't succeed also. 
So disciplines, my Guru, Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kripalu Mahaprabhu would say to us, if we look at all those stars in the sky, these are all worlds. All those stars, you see. And they all move in a certain way. They have a rule and regulation the way they move. If there was no rule, no regulation, all these stars will collide these worlds and they will finish. The entire universe will finish. The sun rises at a certain time, the set at a certain time. Everything has rule, regulation. We also have to bind ourselves in rule, regulation. Discipline to control the mind. If you're indisciplined, you will never be able to. That's why you will say, ah, this sad man is not for me, I can't do it. Because no discipline. We have to be very disciplined. So here Sri Krishna is now going into this. Na tash na tash tu yogo sti na chaykanta manash na ta na chati swapna shilasya jagrato naiva charjuna Chapter 6 verse 16 One who wants to practice meditation, who wants to practice spirituality, right? So you should not eat too much nor eat too less. Oh, you like something, eat plenty. And you don't like it? A <laughs> little bit. No. Too much is very bad. You're going to put on weight, you will get sick. Too little is also bad, you will get enough nourishment for the body. Both are dangerous. The Yoga Shastra says, if you want to be healthy, eat half stomach fill only. Adha pet. Half stomach fill. The other half, quarter for water, quarter for air. You'd be very... You will be free from all diseases. So, don't eat too much, don't eat too little. Don't sleep too much. Never. And don't wait too much. Don't wait, don't wait too much. Many of us, we, people, we, we, we sleep. When it's a holiday or it's a weekend, we sleep 12, sometimes 12 hours. Huh? And other days, we, we wake up late in the night on the computer, in the chat. Oh, we somehow we get 2-3 hours sleep only. Then the whole night, no discipline. No, no, no. We need... So for a spiritual person, six hours, five hours, six hours, very important. No more, no less. Very important. Body needs this rest. Too much is bad. When you sleep too much, it brings laziness, tamasic quality. When you sleep too less, body is going to suffer. It needs rest. So the Guru tells us, my Guru Jagar Guru Tam Shri Kripal Mahaprabhu will say to us, six hours. Six hours sleep, enough. If you're married, you have kids, etc. <laughs> if you're not married, you're single, five hours. It's enough sleep. So don't sleep too much. Yukta hara viharas, yukta chesasya karmasu, yukta sapnao bodhasya, yogo bhavati dukkaha. Again, Sri Krishna says, one who eats, sleeps, exercises, Wakes, etc., in a regulated and scientific way. In a regulated and scientific way, whilst doing sadhana, destroys all material pains. Yoga, yoga, bhavati, dukkha. All material pains. So important discipline. Don't drink too much, don't drink too less, don't eat too much, don't eat too little. You have to be very regulated and scientific. This body requires certain things. Give it all the vitamins, minerals, proteins, everything we require in the right amount. Not too much, not too little. Be very disciplined. What you eat, what you drink, whatever we eat or drink affects the mind. There's a saying, you are what you eat. Uh, doesn't mean vegan, a vegetarian you will go to Bhagavan. But if you're practicing spirituality, 
If you want to be in the spiritual path, being a vegetarian is very important. Because other types of food is going to excite the mind and give and bring passion, anger and all these things. Part of what we eat goes in the mind. What you drink also. So a spiritual person is very, very careful. Because the whole thing is to control the mind, to purify the mind. So it's very careful about what they eat, what they drink, etc. And it's very disciplined. This will help. This is very important in purifying the mind and in bringing it under control. Sri Krishna is saying, Yada viniyatam chitta matman yevatma tishthate nispriha sarva kame bhyo yukta ityuchyate sada tada yada niyat yada viniyatam viniyatam while constantly practicing sadhana constantly and discipline for control in the mind so yada viniyatam chitta chit means the mind control in the mind what will happen nispriha sarva kame bhyo look what happen all material desires will go away anger will go greed because the mind is in the and you remember you have to meditate on shri krishna meditate on shri krishna and or one who has attained shri krishna that divine saint i spoke about that one night that saint and god are one and the same this is a clean water, pure water. When we meditate on God or saint who has attained God, the dirty cloth of our mind gets washed of its impurities. The mind starts purifying. The greed will go, anger, jealousy, hatred, lust. They start cleaning. If we meditate on the, and if we take it and put it back in the world, it's like taking that dirty cloth and dipping it back in mud water, in dirty water. It'll get dirty again. So constantly meditating on Shri Krishna or the saint who has attained Shri Krishna who is the same as Shri Krishna practicing that discipline sadhana practicing discipline also what you eat, what you drink how much you sleep etc. Very important. Keep in the mind try to keep away from getting angry etc. Very important. Slowly slowly the mind will come under control. All material desires get destroyed. Such a person, yukta ittuchate, is said to be steady in bhakti yoga. He becomes very steady in his bhakti, in his yoga, in his, in his sadhana. Very little shakes him, very little interferes with him, affects him. Always happy, always in bliss. Again, Sri Krishna says here, yatha dipo nit. Nivatastho yata yata dipo nivatastho nengate so pamas priha yogino yata chittasya yunjato yoga matmana. So the verse before, chapter 6, verse 18, and this one, chapter 6, verse 19. Verse 19. So what is saying here? Again, I remember we started off. Being alone, isolation. So here it says, Yatha dipo nitavasto nengate. Nengate sopamas priha. Smita, uh, smita, just like a light in a windless place flickering at night. I told you that verse from the Vedas, Virvikta Sevi Lagubhavi. Same thing Sri Krishna is saying here. Dipo. Deepa means light. Just as a light does not flicker, waver. In a windless, where there is no wind, in a windless place. To yogi no yata chittasya yunjato yoga matmanaha. So too, that person who practices bhakti yoga, sadhana, in isolation, controlling the mind and doing dhyan, meditation on Sri Krishna, yata chittam. When the mind, through that practice, of, will slowly, slowly bring the mind under control. The mind will come under control, you become steady. You will start experiencing divine bliss, 
divine love. Living in the world, you will find true peace and true happiness like this. Then, Yatro Paramate Chittam Niruddham Yoga Sevaya Yatta Chai Bhatman Atmanam Pashyan Atmani Tushthati Tushyati Chapter 6 verse 20 So Yatta Chittam When the mind Yatta Chittam Through the practice of sadhana Yoga Sevaya Yoga Sevaya Through the practice of sadhana now you have done sadhana, you are practicing sadhana for a while, a long time. I mean, brief, this can go on and on and on. This Gita is a very small book, 700 shlokas. But every verse is filled with so much. It's not just reading a verse and listening, that doesn't do anything. Anybody can, in one day you can read the, the, the 700 verses of Gita. There are little, little children in India who know this by heart. But what does it mean? Nothing. Unless we know what is and we put into practice. Sri Krishna didn't tell Arjun, just as I say you should say. <laughs> he didn't say that. You have to do. You have to do as I say. So when that mind now, through the practice of sadhana, through this yoga sevaya, becomes completely restrained. Niruddham. Niruddham means has come under control. Sri Krishna is saying control the mind, control the mind. By practicing sadhana, by practicing meditation, by doing sadhana, the mind will come under your control. By discipline and sadhana. Both are important. Don't just only doing sadhana and not and being indisciplined. You won't progress anywhere in your sadhana. So discipline and sadhana for the spiritual person. You have to do that. One attains Uparamate, Uparamate. Uparamate means one attains God. He enjoys the self, enjoys the bliss of Bhagwan. He attains Godlization. This is the aim, and Sri Krishna is telling us how to do it. I'm going to sing a bhajan. This bhajan says, I bow and meditate on the lotus feet of Bhagwan. Here he is saying Bhagwan Sri Ram. Bhagwan Sri Ram, Sri Krishna is one and the same. I bow and meditate on the lotus feet of Sri Ram and Sri Krishna again and again. By the grace of the Supreme Lord, by meditating on him, I attain the happiness of the entire world. I attain true happiness. Sampati is being used here, but that means divine wealth, divine knowledge, divine bliss, divine happiness. Power to Jana Bhaktana Urachandan. That devotee he receives, it becomes like Chandan. Chandan itself is very sweet and it gives sweetness to everything else that comes in contact with it. So a saint is divine. Blissful, and when we come in contact with the saint, we get that bliss also too. The Lord who lives, resides in Avat, the Puri, in Avat, in Ayodhya, together with Mother Sita, the daughter of King Janak, destroyer of all wickedness and evil. He, Teen Tapa, Rujanama, Maran, Bhai, there are three, three types of sufferings. Adhyatmic duk, Adi Bhautik duk, Adi Daivik. All that is destroyed. I'm not going to go in detail here. And the fear of uncountable births and death. In other words, rotating in an endless cycle of birth and death is destroyed forever. One goes to Bhagwan. Never have to come back in this material world and rotate in 8.4 million forms of life. Dura Karatta Chinmaya Janaranjan and he becomes free. He destroy that person becomes free from all sufferings and all fear. Dura, very from all fear of this material world. 
भक्त नमत चरणन में भगवान दैट डिवोटी बाउस अगेन एंड अगेन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान मेडिटेटन ऑन भगवान एंड कृपा करिए सेवक भय भंजन थ्रू द ग्रेस ऑफ भगवान ही बिकम्स फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल फेयर ऑल सफर ही अटेन्स डिवाइन ब्लिस डिवाइन लव बंदो चरण कमल रघुनंदन बंदो चरण कमल रघुनंदन कमल रघुनंदन ओ बंदो चरण कमल जिनकी कृपा सकल सुख संपत पावत जन भक्तन उचंदन पा ओ अवधपुरी प्रभु नित्य विराज जनक सुता युद्ध दुष्टी कंदन जन ओ बंदो चरण कमल comes free from this material world of uncountable that fear of birth and death rotating in 8.4 million forms of life 
from all the three types of suffering attains divine bliss, divine happiness forever. All has to do with the mind, controlling the mind and meditating on Bhagavan. What happens after that? What does Sri Krishna say? Um, Arjun say? Does he say, yes, I can do it? We will hear. We'll finish the Katha here tonight. Bhulivindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai Gita Mata Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe